Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7.2 and we are here today with Aura and the Starry Skies Pack side story that she has wandering with our slowly becoming more confident wolf and oh gosh where did those elk go? That was rude! They weren't supposed to just disappear on us like that but we are wandering with Aura for a side story on a side branch of the main Starry Skies family tree and Aura has just gone back over to the Vista and she has run into another one of the friendly druid wolves this time one of the males and he is helping her to hunt down an elk because as you guys know from the previous episodes Aura is not able to hunt elk on her own she has to run into a friendly wolf or she has to have a mate of her own before she can start hunting. All right, that one's way too strong. That's a bull elk. We're not even going to try that, Aura. I don't care what that druid wolf is telling you. We're not trying to hunt a bull elk. All right. And what about that one? She's not very weak. All right. What about this one? This one's weak. Yes. Let's go for her. All right. I'm going to get you. All right, so even though you can't see him, don't forget that the only reason Aura is allowed to do the hunting right now is because she has the companionship and the help of that dark druid wolf. We learned last time that the leader, the female breeding leader of the dark druid pack that we run into over at the Vista is named... Okay, let's chase her down. Oh, hang on, Elk. Hang on, come back here. All right. But we learned that that was Scarlet. So she had a beautiful red face, a beautiful red mask. And I'm assuming this is either her son or like one of the, the males of the pack that are now helping us to hunt him down because Scarlet told him to. I love the stories you guys are coming up for Scarlet and the stories that you're coming up with for Aura as well. And I plan on reading quite a few more of them. But today I really want to see what will happen one way or another with Aura's story. It has the chance to be a very short story should Aura die because she is a side story wolf. So we will not be using our ancestor blessings to bring her back to life, Aura. So that means kill this elk faster, Aura. Come on, Aura. Oh my goodness, Aura. Oh, that really worried me for a second there. And she also has the chance to never have a mate at all if we are not able to run into a friendly wolf. We have already run into two aggressive wolves and we need to run into either... We need to run into either dispersal wolf or more friendly wolves to help us gain more experience. So we're at 670 and now so many people are saying we have to be at 800 experience before we are able to successfully end up with a mate. And I'm really nervous about that because it's very hard to get experience if you can't hunt elk. And if you run into a dispersal wolf, then we'll have the chance to try to make him our mate, which would be great. But if we run into any more stranger wolves, we roll a dice to determine if those stranger wolves are friendly towards us, in, in which case they'll help us hunt elk and gain experience. If they're going to be neutral towards us, in which case they are going to just leave us alone and we'll go our separate ways. Or if they are aggressive towards us, and Aura has already run into two aggressive wolves, if she runs into a third aggressive wolf, her side story is over and we will be moving on. So let's go up. I'm a little nervous because we ran into an aggressive wolf up on top of the mountain before, but I really don't want to push our luck with the Vista Wolves either, the Dark Druids. So we're going to climb our way up and oh my goodness you guys, I announced it yesterday and we're still working on it so I haven't done an official announcement for it yet, but the Legacy of the Moon Wikia, our wiki for the Wolf Quest series and oh my goodness there's the wolf already. And for our other animal related series like Life Untamed, Life as a Cougar, and our Shelter and Shelter 2 and Shelter Paws stories, it has been created. So we now have a wiki for our Wolf Quest Wolves and it's going to rely entirely on you guys to help me fill it out. The more time I have to spend filling the wiki out, the less time I can do making adventures. So the more you guys can help out by filling the wiki out for me and for our community, the more stories I can tell, the more pumped I am to tell those stories, and the less confusing it is for new people because they'll be able to jump right in, they'll be able to look at all of the facts in the wiki, see the family tree, understand what the heck an ancestor blessing is. I am so excited about that. And I'm so not excited. I'm, I actually go really slow because I'm like, my heart's pounding. I'm so nervous. Is this going to be the end? Is this going to be like the shortest story ever? Oh my gosh, he's a red wolf too. Why can't you be? Why? Why can't you be like a really, really awesome dispersal wolf? It would be so fun to have more red wolf genetics. All right. And we're going to encounter him. And the result is neutral. <laughs> All right. Well, you're really cool looking, sir. And we'll get out of your hair. 
And then we're gonna have to turn around. Oh, I feel so weak. It's so, ugh. I know it seems a little bit tedious, but it's really fun to kind of put things in the random generator's hands too. I don't know about this. I, I don't know about the, the these forest wolves. I just don't have a good feeling about them. Let's run down. I wanna, let's go back to the plains. I just feel like the plains might have a wolf that Aura could eventually make her mate. I feel like if she was going to find a mate, I feel like the, the plains wolves are where it would be. So we'll run past the carcasses that we have because often they have coyotes. And Aura can get special ancestor blessings for us for every 10 coyotes she removes. And we'll see- Oh, coyote! Get him, Aura! Get him! Plus that helps with the experience points! The more experience points we can get, the closer we are to getting a dispersal wolf. And then that means Aura might actually have a chance at a mate. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. It's actually really a, a lot of fun for me to actually have to make there be a challenge to determine if she is even able to have a mate. That's something totally different. And I'm really hoping with our Wakia, what we'll be able to do is we will be able to really build it up so that we can have an explanation of all of the challenges we've used and how we've used them. Because I know so many people who love Wolf Quest the way that you guys really love Wolf Quest. And helping it stay fresh and exciting through all of the adventures and all of the extra challenges we add in is so much fun. It's so much fun for me. It's so much fun for all of you. So I really hope that we can even get lists of like the different challenge ideas, the different challenges we've used in the past, the different ways you could potentially use challenges to give people ideas of how they can continue on with their wolf quest generations. And yes, there is going to be a fan area in the wolf quest wikia where you can go and you can add in your packs and your pack family trees and your pack legacy. And I think that's really exciting and I'm really excited because then any wolves that get picked as potential mates for our wolf quest wolves may also okay we're gonna head over should I head over to that hmm we're just gonna go ahead straight over I just want Aura to make up her mind one way or the other if she's gonna be confident or if she's going to like give up and I think we'll stick to these plains wolves because I don't want to push our luck with the dark druid vistas and I just feel like her mate oh coyote yes yes we're gonna get you yes a little bit closer, painfully a little bit closer to potentially having a mate. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. There we go, Aura, oh my gosh. You're really dragging your, your paws when it comes to picking your mates and whatnot. Oh my goodness, okay. One more hunt. If we can just do one more hunt, Aura can have a mate and she can have puppies of her own and, and the sorrow she felt over the loss of the pups, it might be broken. Oh my goodness. What if Aura ends up breaking the sorrow of the skies? That would be, that would just stun me to pieces. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of amazing work you guys can do in the wiki. As I said, I, I mentioned this when I, I mentioned the idea and you guys were all really receptive about it. I just know from the beginning, from the get-go, that I can't be the one to fill all of that information out. I'll add what I can when I can, but it becomes a choice of do you guys want more Wolf Quest episodes and adventures? Or do you want Siri to spend hours and hours and hours trying to sort everything on her own? And it, it came down to just having to trust the community to help me out and trust the community to help handle any dissenters or any trolls that might pop up. And it's so easy to fix those things on a Wakia. Why would you even bother trolling a Wakia when you can fix it in like two seconds? It just seems ridiculous to me. So hopefully we can rely on the community and hopefully it'll be a useful resource for the future. And Grandpa Atlas! <gasps> Grandpa Atlas just sent us a lucky rabbit's foot! Oh my goodness, this is like a lucky rabbit's foot bush. I want to run through it again. And I can hear geese! Alright, let's see if we can find another. And then let's see what's right over here. Hello? Ah, dang it. I was really hoping we would like stumble onto more... Stumble onto more rabbits. We're so close. If we actually ran into just a few more coyotes, even if it wasn't another wolf. Let's go over to the carcasses. Okay, let's go over to this carcass. I know this seems a little annoying, but it's either the risk of her completely not having any mate or just like uh, three more coyotes. Ah, uh, that's all we need is just three more coyotes. <laughs> I think I want to just like have her hunt coyotes instead of risk rolling and I mean we only can run into one more aggressive wolf So every wolf encounter is a major risk. Ah, okay 
We'll try this out. I'll give it one more loop and then if we can't find any coyotes running back and forth across the plains this time, we will just call it quits. That's a cougar or a fox. That's a fox. That's a fox. Can we chase down a fox? That might be an interesting, interesting attempt. Apparently, if you have like super maxed out speed and you can trap the fox, can I chase him this way? Maybe if I trap him towards the, the trees there. How many experience points would a fox be? All right, don't give up on him, Mora. Don't give up on him. Don't give up on him. We can do this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I kind of feel like she's gaining on him, but maybe not. All right. I kind of feel like maybe she is. No, 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 you little thing. No, 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 no. All right, I don't think she is. I don't think she is. Ugh. Wild fox chase. Wild fox chase. <laughs> I know that there's an achievement for killing a fox, but I don't think the aura is going to be the one to get it, you guys. Oh my goodness, they're quite wily. Look at them. And I'm trying to chase them like into these trees over here or into an embankment. I don't think he's going to have any of it. Uh-uh. Come on. Uh-uh. Can I... Come on. Oh, no. He's a smart one. Can I get him up against here? Oh! Oh, oh. oh okay. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> We're going to keep moving. That was our, our best attempt at trying to chase down a fox yet. So... Oh, we're so close to being able to get a mate for Aura. And now I'm kind of attached to her because she has gotten so much more confident. Let's run up here. But like I said, I do want her to make up her mind. We can't drag our paws about this forever. But yes, you guys. So that that's just where the decision came down. Either being able to update all of that information, which is just so much information when we're up to almost 300 episodes. Or just leaning on you guys and I don't know maybe maybe like some well-meaning people <gasps> another coyote yes 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 <gasps> we only need two more coyotes after this oh my goodness oh my goodness or I'm so excited for you I'm so excited oh my gosh is another one gonna appear out of here I want to like sniff around here all right let's see coyotes 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 coyotes, coyotes. Even a whole bunch of bunnies, even a whole bunch of bunnies would do it at this rate. Oh my goodness. Or I might have a pack after all. This is a branch of the family tree I didn't see coming. All right, where is that carcass? There's that carcass. Oh my gosh, we're so close. All right, is there anybody here? Dang it, I was really hoping we would find a coyote over here. All right, well, let's see. We'll give this like one more little dash. We're so close now. Sometimes a lot of animals will pop out of these bushes too. And I wonder if this is like Aura crawling on her hands and knees. Well, you know what I mean. Running on all of her paws, through all the brambles, getting torn up, having things tear at her ears and just dealing with it. And just feeling like she wants to be a strong wolf, like feeling strength and confidence through all of the trials that she's facing and all of the hard work she does. Oh, you guys, it's going to be so cool to see if she actually has a chance to have this story happen or not. All right, so we're going to go ahead and run on down here. We're going to give it one last go across the fields. And if we, we just need two coyotes. So we're going to run towards the carcasses we left behind. And we're also going to kind of search around down here because we've run across coyotes before. And if we just can't find any coyotes next carcass run then we're just gonna have to go ahead and take the risk because i'm not gonna drag this out any longer aura this is the last run over to the forest the last run by the carcasses and the last chance that she has to without having to risk running into another stranger wolf fulfill all that she needs in terms of experience and confidence before she can find a mate on her own oh my goodness this will be quite exciting i'm really nervous for her actually but all right you guys so Aura's story will be completed probably by the tomorrow and I'm a bit nervous about it and very very happy actually with how many coyotes she's managed to chase off. Man, at least we have another ancestor blessing. How about that? Do you guys want to use the ancestor blessings, the 12 ancestor blessings to break the curse? Because then we could have alternating times of day and that would be very fun. So far ever since Wolf Quest 2.7.2 came, we've not been able to look at the birds. Isn't that just so sad? 
We haven't been able to even see the birds. I really want to be able to see them. Uh, so we'll have to do that. And I am nervous and excited and there's still a lot of work to do before I really want to officially make a little video and announce the Wolf Quest Wikia. I am, I am unsure if it doesn't work out because we just have too many people, too many people not behaving themselves, then it doesn't work out and we'll try something else. But this is our attempt to see what our community can do together and I really don't think I'm going to be disappointed. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye